Elise and I have come up with a challenge for ourselves for the end of 2020. It involves a piece of paper and one of these die. Stay tuned to find out the details. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So me and Elise lately have been feeling that our writing ability has kind of stagnated a little bit. Uh, you know, we're not really just pushing ourselves as much as we could be. So we decided to remedy this. We'd come up with a fun challenge for ourselves. And we think you could follow at home and do this yourselves too. So essentially what we've created is called the End of 2020 Survival Challenge. And without further ado, let's uh, explain the rules of how this is going to work. So for this challenge, we'll be writing down 20 features split between me and Elise. Elise will be the even numbers and I will be the odd. Each person is going to be writing down 10 features that we think the other person could do, but they have either never cleared or they've been too afraid to attempt. We have reviewed what the other person has written for us and ranked them at what we think is the hardest and easiest. One being the hardest and 20 being the easiest. At the beginning of the video, we will be rolling a die like so, and then whatever number it lands on, that person will have to complete and clear that feature by the end of the video. So these are the rules for this challenge. There'll be three re-rolls per person and only one re-roll per person per video. Meaning if you roll the same thing twice, tough luck, you have to go do it. There'll be a free re-roll for any completed features in previous videos and all challenges we create for each other must be within the other person's skill level. So nothing crazy. All features must be cleared by the end of the video, but these can be done over multiple days pending weather also. And all features must be something the other person has either never cleared before or never attempted. Meaning some of these we might have tried before but never got through, and some of them we've just never tried before because they were just too scary for us. Finally, the last rule, the challenges will be numbered 1 through 20, 1 being the hardest and 20 being the easiest. Starting with number 20, the Moonshine Table Shop. Elise has almost cleared this before but just hasn't quite made it. Number 19, I'm going to do one-hander. Number 18, Elise is going to do the Gateway Skinny. She's almost cleared it before but just not quite there. Number 17, I want to do the entire Moonshine Gap line. And number 16, Elise is going to send the Moonshine Drop line. Now we should say these are rated in how difficult we perceive them to be, so they might be different for you. Number 15, I want to clear the top half of the Millstone Jump line. I just haven't quite cleared that last jump on this jump line. Number 14, Elise is going to clear this mini rock slab on Millstone. It's not a very hard feature, but if you've never done a rock slab before, it can kind of get in your head mentally. So normally she just walks it, but she is going to clear it for this video. And number 13, I'm going to do the Millstone Long Rock Garden. Uh, it's not really a scary feature, but it is pretty technical because it's quite the long rock garden. So I've attempted it before, but just haven't quite cleared it. Number 12, Elise is going to clear the Blueberry Hill Rock Drop slash Jump. Number 11, I'm going to try to clear the Corkscrew Connector. I've done both the drops before, but I haven't put it together with the Rock Garden in the middle. You kind of really got to be on your line to do it. It's pretty difficult, actually. For number 10, Elise is going to clear the Corkscrew Creek Crossing by either going over the root or over the rocks. Number 9, I'm going to clear the Sunset Rock Garden, which gives everybody some trouble these days. Number eight, another mental one, is the millstone log over that Elise is going to conquer. And then number seven on zero, I'm going to do the drop right in the entrance. For whatever reason, this one just really is in my head. I don't know why. Must be the exit. Then for number six, Elise is going to go up and over <laughs> the bell lap rock. Another mental one for her. Number five is the rainbow skinny. I don't think I have to explain that. <laughs> number four is the moonshine log jump. Very mental. Number three is the Creek Gap. I just haven't mustered the courage to do it yet. Number two, Elise is going to clear the Moonshine Step Up, which she's almost at now. And number one, the hardest challenge for me is Lobster Make Lobster Face. This is a gnarly rock garden. I've barely gotten past the first five feet in it. Now, just to reiterate, this is how difficult we think they are and how difficult we perceive them in our mind. If you were to make this list, it'd probably be very different. Speaking of which, why don't you take this list and order it in the comments below, 20 being the easiest and 1 being the hardest, how difficult you think these features are. The rules and the features that we will be doing, uh, we got a large list of 20, but we're super, super duper excited to start this off. So without further ado, I'm actually going to do the first dice roll of this whole challenge, and that will be our next video. So let's do this live. Ugh, please, not a 1. 
What's that? 13. What's 13? The Millstone Mini Rock Garden. Okay. So it looks like I'll be doing the Millstone Mini Rock Garden in the next video. Uh, thanks for sticking around this long. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, comment below. Subscribing is free. doesn't cost anything. As always, bye.